Travel to the centre of a hot desert and you're likely to see a barren landscape devoid of life. In these areas, there simply isn't enough water to support it. But move to the fringes and it's a different story. Here you'll find drought-resistant trees like acacia, eucalyptus and argon. They've adapted to make the most of scarce water supplies by either storing water in their stems and trunks or by reducing losses through transpiration. And where you have trees, you have roots to hold the soil in place, branches to create shade and leaves to provide a supply of organic matter so other plants can begin to grow. Together, these plants are the primary producers, the first layer of a complex ecosystem that can include insects, birds, reptiles and larger animals. Often you'll find people farming in these areas too. Combine water with year-round high temperatures and fertile soils and you create near-perfect growing conditions. But these dry or semi-arid ecosystems are also extremely fragile. If water levels drop or the trees and plants are killed by overgrazing, the desert quickly claims the land, a process called desertification. Unfortunately, it's a story that's all too familiar to families in desert regions all over the world.